Hi friends, this is Jarvis. Welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars to review just for you. And right now I have something special that just arrived. The uh, This is none other than a good old, good old guitar. And this is a RJ, let me see, RJ, RCJC. That means a Rosewood Cedar Top uh, Concert Jumbo. And this was uh, sent to me uh, just a couple of days to have the pickup change from a dual source system to this new Anthem pickup, which I think is probably the best system in the world. It, uh, it captures the true voice of the guitar. Let's get started. And the good, this good old guitar was uh, with this guy called Mr. Ang. You know, he flew to Hawaii in I think two zero zero three. I met him there. I met him. I got to know him uh, in year two thousand three. And he flew there for a holiday with his uh, daughter and his uh, his wife, and he visited Hawaii and visited uh, James and uh, Jean Goodall, and he played some of his guitars in that room, and this was that guitar that captured him, that captivated him, that arrested him, and he said that I must buy this guitar, and he, they they did a deal with uh, I think James Goodall, and when he came back, they got that guitar shipped to him in Singapore. And this guitar is back, it's almost nine years old. And uh, let's get started. It, it comes with a cedar top, uh, a, a cedar top, very tight grain. You can see it's chocolate in color. Cedar top, uh, uh, top, uh, uh, and the back and sides are Indian rosewood, very tight grain. Indian rosewood. The whole guitar is bound in uh, flame uh, koa with perfling lines on the side as well as the, the back on the top. And this one has the uh, Abalone Rosette on this guitar cutaway, Ebony Bridge, Ebony Fretboard with the diamond cut inlays that they are famous for. The one three quarter neck, the head plate is the Ebony with the uh, with also the core binding on the head plate. The uh, fretboard is bound with Ebony. The tuners are Scarlet Mini Cut Scarlet Tuners. And if you look at the neck, it's a one-piece mahogany neck that is stained to match the sides so, and the back of the Indian Rose, which is uh, this attention, fine attention to detail. And this guitar, um, uh, it, it has a forward shift for uh, x rays But something about, uh, about Goodall is you need to know is, uh, I appreciate this part of him is, uh, every guitar top is hand-tuned, but most important is his, his tops are non scalloped of course, uh, the question is: If it's non scalloped how does he, how is he able to bring out that beautiful lush travels, the uh, and, and and enough bass that is responsive? The whole guitar just sings, and has an internal reverb that is like built in. Even when you play above the fifth register, you can hear the is the the guitar is the bell like tone just lingers a little bit more than a normal guitar. And uh, what he does is he graduates the top, and I think he graduates the top, and he flex the top, and the 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 ex brace is non scalloped, the the uh, the tone bars are non scalloped, and it just gives you that robust, that majestic tone that is uh, not found in many of this. And I'll say this is more of a finger style with the cedar top, it gives you a more what we call it mature sound. Uh, but you can also uh, also uh, we call it uh, strum this baby. Let me just try. I'm going to do just a medium strumming. Try the uh, upper register.
just uh, sustain just lingers man lingers okay let's uh, try it on the third fret <laughs> test whether a guitar is good is normally you play at a higher register by just doing a let's say E here Beautiful sounding concert jumbo cedar top uh, made, in, uh, made in Hawaii. This piece, uh, I think the tagline for Gudo is everyone should own a Gudo. That's the tagline that uh, I think Gudo guitar should just uh, uh, take that up, you know. So, this there you have it the cedar top uh, concert jumbo, concert jumbo cedar top Indian rules with the back and side. Just now, you have a dark chocolate, beautiful uh, look at the binding on this. Uh, Oh, this guitar is simply beautiful. This guitar is almost like nine years old, and I've looked through the whole guitar, cleaned up the frets, and the neck attachment in terms of the uh, the neck angle is still perfect. I mean, there's not much swelling on this guitar. The neck to body joint is still there. So, uh, good old guitars are made to last. So, if you buy one, everybody should own one because at least one. If you like, you play a finger style, get the parlor. The parlor parlor series normally is you don't see people selling it. Uh, a grand concert would be good if you like you play a bit more strumming then a, a concert jumbo would be the 
be good. If you're in Singapore, the, the distributor for Good All Guitars are, is uh, Mr. Terry from Guitar Gallery in Singapore. He has uh, booked like 12 uh, every month, that's uh, two guitars coming in. And they come in fast, they, come in, they go out fast because they are really exceptional instruments that uh, should cost double the amount. So if you like this review, what you can do is post uh, a comment just below this YouTube video. If you want to watch more great videos, what I would suggest that you do is to press this subscribe button up here and then you'll be watching, you'll be, be just uh, alerted of new videos that are coming up. Um, I'm going to uh, sign off soon to say live with passion, play guitar, allow love, peace, joy, health, then wealth to be multiplied in your life. Focus on the good stuff because uh, when you're down, it's time to ride up. So uh, just focus on, on things that you want. Enjoy your instrument. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.